Oh, hey guys, what's really going on? Well, it's break time here at work. It's 10.30ish at night. I always come out this late for, late for my last vape and just escape the office for a bit. So on my lunch tonight, I uh, I wanted to go to the drugstore and get some isopropyl alcohol and some vegetable glycerin. Isopropyl alcohol, man. Like, do you see how vapey my window has gotten? Okay, isopropyl alcohol mixed with vinegar. You do a 25 isopropyl alcohol, 25 vinegar, 50 water. Get her into a spray bottle, hose that on your window, it peels that fucking shit right off. Way better than that invisible glass nonsense. Way better than that. So, I'm going to be using that to clean this windows, these windows up better because it didn't do that good of a job with that. It did a good job, like it took the cock off the window that Rex drew on it off, but I don't know, it's just, there's still pretty, pretty hazy in here. Still pretty hazy and well, it doesn't help that I'm vaping right now, but what I mean is like the windows are, they didn't really turn out awesome. And alcohol cuts all oils, so go alcohol. So I figured I'd go to the buck store and um, I went to the mall actually, went to the buck store. Looked around to see if I could find any isopropyl alcohol and the only shit I could find was rubbing alcohol at 50%. That means it's 50% water, 50% alcohol, or 50% water, 25% alcohol, 25% God knows what the fuck else they put into it, but normally it should just be water and alcohol. Sometimes they add this stuff to it that's not really toxic, it's just it tastes really bad, therefore it prevents you from drinking it like liquor and getting right fucking wrecked, which is probably a good idea. So I go to the friggin' um, the dollar store, walk in, what's the first thing I see? Are you ready for this? You're probably thinking Halloween decorations. Fucking Christmas decorations. They already have their Christmas decorations out at the freaking dollar store. It's like, okay, I know it's snowed in Calgary and everything, but fucking calm your tits there, son. You don't need to put out the Christmas decorations yet and remind us that in 16 Fridays it's going to be fucking Christmas. God. Oh, I'm so glad I'm taking the winter month off this year. Fucking right. And by the winter month, I mean the winter season. So I ended up getting at the uh, dollar store, I bought some stuff I needed. I ran out of shower gel or shower wash or whatever. And, uh, oh fuck, I've been using like a bar of soap and a face cloth and stuff. And it's all right, but I like the shower gel because you can really lather that shit on you and clean your body up and stuff. And I like the one with like the aloe vera into it because then it makes my skin not fucking fall apart, which is awesome which is very awesome. And Buckstore has that nonsense. And they had some other stuff in there, like uh, the soap that I use at my uh, bathroom sink for washing my hands after I go pee pee and poopy. You should always wash your hands after you go pee pee and poopy, people. You just dust your shit. So make sure you wash your shit. It's fucking vaping in here. Yeah, buddy. Love that kind. Oh, I apologize. It's getting, I don't even know where to put the camera to dodge the vape. Maybe if I open a window. And, oh, I can't. The keys aren't even on. Friggin' my thack, friggin' my thack. I frigged up, friggin' my thack. Here, we'll let some of the vape out. But um, Adrian sends me a text with an eBay link. He just bought himself uh, some mirrors for his bike, and they're two bucks a piece. And we're talking about that last time because, you know, it's kind of like he wishes he could have seen behind and seen where I was and how close I was. And, you know, that's my only problem with leading is I don't, I don't like leading when I can't see who's behind me and what they're doing. Especially if they're passing, like you always pass on the right. That's that's common knowledge. But sometimes when you're dicking around, you want to pass on the left. But um, I, uh, or sorry, you always pass on the left. But sometimes when you're dicking around, you pass on the right because you're just dicking around. It's what you do. I, I fucked that up, and I apologize for it. But um, we, uh, he sent me the link. He bought the mirrors, and I was like, sweet. So I looked at I looked at them, and right away I'm like, okay, I'm ordering six, two bucks a piece. I ordered six mirrors. Um, two for each bike and two for my romp and tractor because I like to be able to see who's behind me and what's going on behind me, especially on those trails. Because, like, we locked out both times we went, but normally, like, one of my neighbors down the street likes to take his dirt bike up there and just fucking rip up the trails. And uh, there's a couple people on quads who like to go up there and stuff, so boarded that up. I thought I would just give you guys a quick little rundown on my break, let you know what the frig's really going on and, and stuff. But, um, at the drugstore, they had these massive fucking fans. They're fall clearance, fall clearance fan sale. They had like four fans left. Regular $39.99 on for six bucks. And I grabbed the last big fan. The other ones were kind of small, like little desktop fans, eh? I grabbed the last biggest fan I can grab, and that's for the bedroom because I'm done fucking humid sweating in there. I'm just going to like fire up the fan and let it run and just circulate the air in that room when I'm in there and it'll be glorious. Anyway, I should get back inside and get this shift over with. I'll talk to you guys at midnight when I get the fuck out of here. Thought I'd try a different approach on the vlog and do a little, I'm on break, let's cheech. Wee!
Woo! Work is done, people. It's friggin' midnight. Let's go home. I am friggin' done with this place for tonight. Gotta come back here tomorrow. Also, I forgot to mention from the dollar store, I bought four tri uh, AAA, what the fuck am I talking about? Four D cell batteries. So we're gonna give that elliptical a try and see if the computer actually works, or if it's fucked, or whatever. We'll give her a go. Let's go home. Alrighty, I'm home now. Uh, I just got the dog out with me, he's having a crap. And uh, on the way home, I was trying to grab my camera because there was this friggin' minivan that was like driving along. And every time there was a green light, he would like slow down to 10 kilometers and lurch through it. And I was like, what the fuck's this guy doing? Is this like, did he go to a different driving school where you like slowly approach friggin' green lights and you just rip through reds? I, 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 don't, I don't know, I don't know. Where did my dog go? He just fucked off on me. Oreo, come, come on, come here. Friggin' him a sack, he listens so well. I just hope he doesn't find a fucking skunk back there because I really don't feel like bathing him. He'll become a permanent outside dog for freak's sakes. I really don't know what's up with Dorio and his double crapping shit. Like he goes for a poop and then he stops, gets up, walks a couple feet, fucking fires off another grumpy. It's like, holy shit, man. I know you're full of shit and all, but you gotta prove it. So that's what I got from the box store. You got the sensitive skin natural concepts body wash. I like it because um, it's got vegetable glycerin into it and it kind of helps my skin. I get some really irritated skin all the time. And it's a sensitive shit, so I gotta watch what type of uh, detergent I use on my clothes and stuff, eh? So, kind of sucks. And for, t <laughs> for $2, I got like a year supply of soap for the pump in the bathroom. Honestly, that's a sweet deal. And uh, I like this kind. This kind's nice. It lathers up well, it smells good. It's got disinfectant built into it. It's a real good soap. Uh, big, big fan. And I bought these batteries to try on the treadmill. Right on. And here's the big haul from the drugstore. Two bottles of isopropyl alcohol. Oh, alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. This stuff is awesome for cleaning out your darts. For cleaning electronics because it evaporates so friggin' fast. Apparently you can use it for relief of bruises, sprains, and muscular aches. wonder if this could have helped my hip last weekend when I was right fucked while romping, or not last weekend, the weekend before. Hmm. Oh, French side. See, the, the ingredients is isopropyl alcohol 99% VV. What the fuck is VV? Very vigorous? I don't know. Directions, applies required. Use as a solvent, antiseptic, or as a basic for isopropyl alcohol rub. Apply full strength to affected areas and rub in. May dilute with two or three parts water if desired. <clears throat> yeah, you're not supposed to drink this because it'll make you fucking drunk like and probably die. It'll probably kill you. Probably would. But uh, I love using this stuff for cleaning. It's also great if you want to make your homemade disinfectant. Um, there's a girl on YouTube, uh, channel Clean My Space, and she has a how to DIY make your own household cleaners. And for the disinfectant, she's a big, big fan of this rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. Also, I don't know why, but I can't seem to find glycerin in any more than one bottle per store. Walmart, every time I go there, one bottle on the shelf. Go to Rexall, same thing. It's like they're on to us. They know what we're doing. I like how it's first aid. For topical relief of dry or chapped skin, let me tell you, works great for that. Friggin' right. And there's the fan I bought. It's a Honeywell, paid six bucks. Uh, turbo force power, 25% plus discreet, whatever the fuck that means. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm on the French side. Fuck's sakes. I'm converting to English in my brain. There we go. Honeywell power air circulation. 25% quieter than what? Than previous models. Oh, what does that do? Fan head pivots up to 90 degrees. Oh, save up to 20% on energy bills. Oh, you can save 100% by not plugging it in. True story. Right back, gotta poop. Alrighty, let's stab some batteries into this. I hope they're fucking D cells. I can't remember. Are my screwed over right now? We'll just um, put this up on the bookshelf. Put the batteries kind of like that. And let's take a peek under here. Tell me your fucking D cells. I don't know. Oh, let's jam some fucking batteries into her and see what happens. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, I got about two bucks worth of batteries into this thing. Holy, this is weird. Okay, let me, oh, deck. Let me just try and get on this thing. Okay, what the fuck does that mean? Low. Like, what does it want me to do? What, grab this thing, maybe? I don't know. How the fuck do you use this thing? What does this button do? Oh, deck, it's doing stuff. Oh, it was. This thing works fine. Oh, now it wants to, how does it know my age? That's fucking neat. Like, can I, like, increase resistance, maybe? Holy dick, level five, man, let me tell ya. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome, and I'm not, I'm pretty close to like, if I stand up full tits, like max extension right now, I'm barely touching. So, this is gonna work good. And all the problem was, was 
She forgot the batteries were dead. And let me tell you, the batteries were fucking fried. So I'm gonna enter my ages. Um, well, let's touch your miles per hour. Let's see how fast we can go. Whee what the fuck? Okay, I really shouldn't do this here. It's wobbling. I'm not on flat surface. So what we're gonna do is how the fuck do we turn this thing off? Warning, reduce risk of serious injury. Read the instruction. Oh, I don't have the manual. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe it's just like my old one and it turns off on its own, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. All I do know is I'm gonna have to find a user manual for this thing online. Ew, I think a dog pooed there. And uh, it needs a bath. But it works. So now that I know it works, there's really no reason for me not to fix it up and clean it up and set it up and use it up and sweat it up and hopefully get rid of the bedin. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, people, I just figured I would talk a little bit at work, then come home and try that out and go from there. Um, I don't plan on doing much else of anything else tonight. I'm gonna go watch Pug's video. Like I said, I didn't really sleep that much. Last night I was up every hour on the hour for some reason. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, Probably shut her down watch some pug one videos see if anybody else uploaded anything to the internets Fuck sakes my macro failed lovely and uh, not Like I couldn't use the money in that fucking game and that Marvel Avengers. I spent it all on training, but um I'm gonna uh, probably call her an early night. We have five bottles of glue. We have 500 mil of glycerin now. I still want more. Wait, does this one have any in it? No, it's an empty bottle. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna call her quits for tonight, people. So thanks for watching. Yeah, the elliptical works. Friggin' right. Don't need to solder shit. It's good to go. Got a Skype message. No, don't care about that one. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so, thanks for watching my video, people. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I didn't do much. I just fucking played with an elliptical and talked about the shit I bought. But it is what it is, so thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, leave a comment, of course, for commenting on comments. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.